All right, so for the first problem, we know that we have a 60 degree sector um, cut off in a larger circle. So we know this right here is 60 degrees. And we also know that these are tangent. Um, so we can go ahead and draw the radii of this triangle. We know that each of these are one because it is given in the problem. And we can also draw a line right here. So now we have two triangles. We know this is a right angle. Um, we also know that from here to here is congruent from here to here. Let me just draw that in green for more clarification. So these are congruent because two um, tangents to the same circle um, are congruent. Um, we also know that this line is congruent to this line because it's reflexive. And we know that these two are radii. Um, we can also do hypotenuse leg to prove that these two triangles are congruent. And the reason we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent is because um, we need to know that these are 30, 60, 90 triangles. So um, if we redraw the triangle over here in blue, we have a 30, 60, 90. We know that this is 1. We know this is 2x, so this would be 2. So this right here is this right here. So that's 2. And these are root 3 just because it's x root 3. Um, but we're trying to find the radius of the larger circle. So we also need to um, find uh, this segment right here. And um, we know that this segment is 1 because the radius of the small circle is 1. So we have 2 plus 1 making the radius of the smaller circle 3. And that is the answer. So for this problem, we know that CD is 4, so we can go ahead and write that in. And all of these are 4 because it is a square. Um, we're given that in the question. We also know that in the square you have two tangent congruent semicircles, so these two semicircles are congruent. You also have a small circle, which is tangent here and here to both of these bigger circles, and we're finding the radius of this small circle, which is a small circle right here. So in order to do this, um, we're going to have to create some triangles. Um, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting the square into two parts right there. So because of that, these two are congruent because um, we pretty much just bisected this line. So each of these are two here. Um, we're also going to um, bisect it again um, right through here all the way to the top um, again lines just bisected these are two um, we also know that the radii of the big circles are two because we just showed that by drawing this horizontal line with this um, line these lines are perpendicular um, they're like the perpendiculars of the circle or of the square um and now we're going to draw triangles so we know um we're trying to find the radii of the small circle so we're going to call each of the small circles radii x and then we're going to continue this line down to here you know this is two because like this one it is the radii of the circle um likewise over here we'll just call this two plus x because that's what it is we have this is 2 we know this since it's perpendicular right here is a right angle and since we know that this um, I'll just put in green now this line right down the middle here um, is 2 as you can see this 2 right here it's also 2 but since we're only taking the triangle here we also know that um, this right here is x because it's also a radii of the small circle so then this line right here is 2 minus x so now that we've done that we can set up so now we can use the Pythagorean theorem um, to set up an equation for this triangle right here so the equation would be um, 2 squared plus 2 minus x squared 
and that is equal to two right here, we're gonna get it from right here, right here. This is two. Two plus x squared. This is the hypotenuse. Now on the piece of paper I did this problem out, and if you do this out as well, you will get um that x is equal to one over two. And since x is the radius of the small circle, 1 over 2 is our answer, and the radius of the small circle is 1 half. Okay, so for this problem, um, we have a 20-sided polygon. It's regular, so we know that all of um, the segments drawn, there are 20 of the vertices are drawn here, they're all congruent, um, which is very important to the problem. So the first step that we need to take is to figure out um, what is the measure of from like D to E or E to F or F to G? What, they're all congruent, so what is the measure of each of them? Um, so in order to do that, we will um, take 360 degrees because a circle is 360 degrees. Um, so here it is, 360. And we will have to divide that into 20 parts for the, each of the 20 sides. And then the answer to that is 18. So each of these are 18 degrees, 18, 18, 18, um, so perfect. Um, so first, we have to find the measurement of DOG, dog. So here it is marked right here. I'll remark it in red, DOG. We know that it is an inscribed angle, so the measure is half of the arc that it is inscribed in. So since there are three segments here, it would be 18 times 3, which is 54. And you would have to divide 54 by 2, because like I said, the measurement of the inscribed angle is half of the arc. Um, so then you divide that by 2 and get 27. So measurement of DOG, measurement angle, T O G twenty seven. Next we need to find the measurement of um C A T. So I'm just going to add another notepad here so I can do some more work. And in order to find the measurement of C A T, which is right here, I'll re highlight it in blue. Right here, this angle right here. Um you have to see that it inscribes, actually, I'll do this in green, it is an inscribed angle inscribing all of this. So I don't know if you can see that, but it inscribes the whole, this whole arc that I just outlined in green, um, which is actually a total of 17 segments, so 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, all the way to here, which is number 17. So in order to find the degree measure of this inscribed arc, we need to find, um, inscribed angle rather, we need to find the measurement of the whole arc and divide that by 2. So the whole arc, since there are 17 segments, would be 17 multiplied by the degrees of each arc times 18 all over 2, which is a total of 153 degrees. That is the measurement of angle CAT. Therefore, um, we can take the measurement of angle CAT 153 degrees plus down here measurement of angle um, DOG which is 27 so plus 153 plus 27 degrees is 180 degrees. So the answer to the question the total measure of CAT plus DOG is 180 degrees. Alright so in this problem we know that there's a certain circle and its uh, area and its circumference um, added together is equal to 365. So let's just write that out. We know the area formula for any circle is pi radius squared. We know um, that the circumference formula for any circle is 2 pi r. And we know that it equals 360 pi. Um, so in order to find the radius of the circle, we're going to have to do some solving. So the first step I see that we can do is divide by pi on both sides of the equation. 
that leaves us with r squared plus 2r is equal to 360. So when I see this, I think we can make a quadratic equation. So we're going to subtract 360 minus 360 minus 360. I'm going to add another notepad here. So now we would have um, r squared plus 2r minus 360 is equal to 0. Now we can um, try to um, factor 360. So we can do 18 and 20. So r minus 18 and r plus 20 would give us this equation if we un unfoil this. And um, so that means that r would be 18 or r would be negative 20 to set these both equal to zero. Um, so of course negatives cannot be an answer because the radius has to be positive. Therefore the radius must be 18. So for the final problem we have three circles with collinear centers um, that are shown here. They're tangent. Uh, the radii are in a ratio of 1 to 2 to 4. So first let's try drawing that out. So the smallest one obviously is 1. Let's just like draw this right here real quick. So it's from 1 to 2 to 4. So this would be x. Boom. Boom. So this one is obviously 4x. And this one is 2x and 2x. Um, now, the reason I drew it like this is because the distance from the leftmost center, which is right here, to the uh, rightmost center, which is right here, is 72. So we know from boom to boom is 72. Now what is the area of the smallest circle? So since um, we know that this distance is 72, we know that 72 is equal to all of these added up. So that's x plus 2x is 3x plus 92x is 5x plus another 4x is 9x. 72 is equal to 9x, so we know x is 8, because 9 times 8 is 72. Um, now that we know that the that each x is 8, we know that the radius, let's draw this other circle right here, the radius of the small circle is 8, so the area is pi r squared area, so that equals pi 8 squared, which is 64 pi. So the area of the small circle is 64 pi. And that is all the problems.